All of my darlings. Ooh. And my heart says, I love you. Happy Monday, everybody. I'm sure your week was your weekend was much like the rest of your week at home with your families. Well done, guys, for obeying the rules and looking after other people by staying at home. Maybe you can let me know what you did with your families. Give me some ideas. I'm sure some of you are looking forward to Easter this weekend. Some of you are looking forward to, well, <laughs> Easter eggs and Easter bunnies. Some of you don't celebrate Easter at all. And some of you don't celebrate Easter with the bunny, but you celebrate a new life from Jesus. Easter's lots of different things to different people. The first people to think of Easter, to celebrate Easter, were the pagans, a group of people called the pagans, many, 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 many moons ago. And they invented it to celebrate the coming of spring. But here in South Africa, <laughs> we are in the coming of autumn, aren't we, guys? So, we are going this week, before Easter arrives, to learn all about eggs. Who lays eggs? What's inside an egg? If you like, you can find out as much as you can about eggs at home. And remember, or take pictures, or draw pictures of anything that you find interesting. And then hopefully one day we can share it together. Moving to Monday morning movements. Up on your feet, everybody. <laughs> Easter Bunny is on. Fluffy tails ready. Bendy knees. Say hello to Daily Bee. Daily Bee, be friendly. He's very shy. That's why his ears are flopping over his eyes. It's okay. Okay, are we ready, Easter Bunnies? Easter Bunny, Easter Bunny, turn around. Easter Bunny, Easter Bunny, touch the ground. Easter Bunny, Easter Bunny, reach up high. Easter Bunny, Easter Bunny, touch the sky. Are you all? Are you ready for big aerobics? Whoa, don't have to jiggle so much, Daily B. I'm ready. I'm a little bit warm. You sit there. Let's teach Daily B, my Easter Bunny, how to get fit and healthy. Hats off, coats off. Everybody ready for big aerobics? Heads and shoulders, knees and toes, eyes and ears, mouth and nose. Flap your arms up and down. Lift your feet off the ground. See if your knees can touch your chin. Oh, oh. <laughs> Maybe if we warm up, lift your arms in the air, shake them, shake them everywhere. Whoop. Clap your hands, stamp your feet, nod your head and dance to the beat. Listen to your heart, it's always got a beat. All join together. To make a choo choo train. Choo 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 choo. Stretch out your arms and zoom like a plane. Make a circle, one of your favorites, and ring around the rosy. Ring a ring a rosy. Let's bump. Bottoms, bump. Let's rub noses. Shh. On tiptoes, quiet as a mouse. 
Now great big steps all around the house. Turning, twirling, like a spinning top. Bump on your bottom, bump, when it's time to stop. Wiggle your toes. See, I've got my socks on again. And crawl like a cat. Can you crawl like a cat, Daily Bee? Let's see if he can crawl like a cat. Ooh. He says he's a bunny, not a cat. Now lie down and stretch out flat. No, he says he's got bunny legs. They don't stretch flat. <clears throat> Toddler aerobics is lots of fun. Love you lots, everyone. Okay, beautiful bunnies. Should I sit somewhere comfortable? I'm sitting here with my daily bee, my Easter bunny, my bunny. <laughs> and I am going to read to you one of my favorite bunny stories called Daily Bee. Yes, just like you, <laughs> He's feeling very proud. Daily Bee by John Blake and illustrations by Axel Scheffler. Both the author, John Blake, and the artist, Axel Scheffler, both have fabulous sense of humour in most of their stories. So, let's see, this is Daily Bee. Daily Bee didn't know what he was. Am I a monkey? He said. Am I a koala? Am I a porcupine? Daily Bee didn't know where to live. Should I live in a cave? He said. Should I live in a nest? Should I live in a web? Daily Bee didn't know what to eat. Should I eat fish? He said. Should I eat potatoes? Should I eat worms? Daily Bee didn't know why his feet were so big. Are they for water skiing? He said. Are they for mice to sit on? Are they to keep the rain off? Daily Bee saw the birds in the tree and decided he would live in a tree. Daily Bee saw the squirrels eating acorns and decided he would eat acorns. But he still didn't know why his feet were so big. One day, there was great panic in the woodland. All the rabbits gathered beneath Daily Bee's tree. Oh, you must come down at once, Daily Bee, they cried. Jazzy D is coming. Who is Jazzy D? asked Daily Bee. The rabbits were too excited to answer. They scattered across the grass and vanished into their burrows. Daily Bee stayed in his tree and nibbled another acorn and wondered about his big feet. Jazzy D crept out of the bushes. Her teeth were as sharp as broken glass and her eyes as wide as her eyes were as quick as fleas. Jazzy D sneaked around the burrows, but there was not a rabbit to be seen. Jazzy D looked up. Daily Bee waved. Jazzy D began to climb the tree. The other rabbits poked out their noses and trembled. Hello, said Daily Bee to Jazzy D. Are you a badger? Are you an elephant? Are you a duck-billed platypus? Jazzy D crept closer still. No, my friend, she whispered. I am a weasel. Do you live in a pond? asked Daily Bee. Do you live in a dam? Do you live in a kennel? Jazzy D crept closer still. No, my friend, she hissed. 
I live in the darkest corner of the wood. Hmm. Do you eat cabbages? asked Daily Bee. Do you eat insects? Do you eat fruit? Jazzy D crept right up to Daily Bee. No, my friend, she rasped. I eat rabbits. Rabbits like you. <gasps> Daily Bee's face fell. Am I a rabbit? He stammered. Jazzy Dee nodded and licked her lips and leapt. Daily Bee didn't have to think. Quick as a flash, he turned his back and kicked out with his massive feet. Jazzy Dee sailed through the air, far, far away, back where she came from. The other rabbits jumped and cheered and hugged each other. You're a hero, Daily Bee, they cried. That's funny, said Daily Bee. I thought I was a rabbit. <laughs> Thanks for sharing that with me, precious guys. Yes, Daily Bee, and you. <laughs> I've sent your parents some ideas uh, of little things that you can make people for Easter, if you celebrate Easter, or even just for presents, using eggs. I think all of them are using eggs. You know how when you... Um, make something for someone like when you made your family Christmas presents you get a warm and fuzzy feeling when you give it to them don't you I do and then so if you want someone else to get that warm and fuzzy feeling I think it would be lovely to make something special okay I'm gonna say goodbye to you all until tomorrow with a lovely poem about eggs Benji tells me I've been knocking our poor Easter egg all over the floor. <laughs> but he still seems to be smiling. Happy to see you guys. We're going to play a game with these eggs one of these days this week. Okay. What is an egg? There's a question mark because it's asking you a question. And there's a lovely three-letter word. Egg. -a. G egg. What is an egg? It's a special place. It's warm and it's safe. It's a cozy space. What is an egg? It's a place to start. Growing bones and a beak and feathers and a heart. What is an egg? It's a place to grow for a chick and a duck and an owl, and a crow. What is an egg? It's a place to begin for all sorts of birds, for roosters and hen. I've knocked poor egg over again. Speaking of hen, again, I'm a rhymer. Why don't you guys try making up little poems? That would be beautiful. Short poems, long poems, funny poems, sad poems. Poems about what you see outside, poems about what you see inside. Find all the rhyming words you can. Funny, funny. I don't know what rhymes with egg. Egg, head, egg, head. <laughs> Rhymer, old timer. <laughs> Love you. More than all the leaves in your playground. And I shall see you tomorrow. Bye. Wait, 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 guys. Someone's very upset. They wanted to say goodbye. And we forgot all about him. <laughs> say bye-bye, Daily Bee. Bye-bye, everybody. See you tomorrow.